Hey Bunsel Crown Music here. Hope you're all doing well. This is my first tutorial on Avenger version 1.5. Specifically looking at um, the vintage filter types, which I'm quite excited about. And the other thing which I'm quite excited about is the impulse reverb enhancements, which could be quite interesting in terms of sound design. But I might cover that in a later tutorial. But let's focus today on making um, a preset with the vintage filters that sounds something like this. Okay, so you can hear the nice twanging effect there, which the vintage filters are giving us. Um, so how do we go about creating this preset? Let's start from scratch as we normally do. Okay, right click on the memory button and choose initialize. So we have the default sound. Okay, let's make some minor adjustments um, in this section here in terms of vibrato, turn it up slightly. The rest here is fine. Let's add a few more voices to make it a bit thicker. To make it a bit more interesting, just a slight detune on both extra voices there. And to make it a bit wider, just increase the pan to the left and to the right. Over to the reverb section, shift it up to about 50%, and now we have this sound. Let's go over to the amp section. The only change needed here is just to bring down the velocity sensitivity down a touch. So you get something close to a normalized volume. This is going to filter one, so let's go there and make some adjustments here. Let's turn the cutoff right down, but increase the envelope amount. So now we have a pluck type sound. Let's just move on to the vintage filter types now. Let's create a second oscillator by taking a copy of actually the first oscillator. So I'm going to right click copy on oscillator one. Press the plus icon to create a new oscillator, and then right click and paste onto that oscillator to create an exact copy. So now we have the same sound on both oscillators. And it's going to the same amp, amp one. But we want to change this slightly by adding a second filter. So click on the plus icon here, add a second filter. I want this to be vintage low pass 12. And I'll change this to oscillator two, and have this going to filter two. So now we have this sound. Add a bit of drive distortion to the filter and take the cutoff down to about 10.30. Take this down a bit. We want to increase the amount of modulation on this vintage type filter. So take it up to about 92. Click and drag. This is a self resonating filter, which means it makes sound by itself without any input. So if I was to turn down the volume of oscillator two, which is a saw way of going into filter two, we could still get some sound out of it. Let's return these to the original values. Turn the volume back up. And this is the sound we have now. Now here's where the trick is. Wouldn't it be nice to be able to modulate these two parameters here, the cutoff, and the quote-unquote resonance. And I think it would be nice to do that in a way that isn't a smooth modulation, but a one that jumps around somewhat. So how would we do that? I would personally like to see if I could be able to use a mod envelope with an appropriate preset. Let's check that out. You can see that the default preset here for the mod envelope is just a smooth linear fall. How about trying a preset which is a bit more jumpy? Let's have a look at the presets here. I went through these beforehand and I found one that was pretty good. I'm going to go with filter spikes too. And you can see that if we apply this envelope to any parameter, it's going to jump around a lot. Okay, let's try that. Uh, let's click on the six dots here and drag over to the cutoff and then release. But we don't want to give it an amount of 100% because that would be too erratic. Let's take that down to about halfway. And let's use the same mod envelope to modulate this parameter here. Let's take this in a downward direction to about minus 17. And let's hear the result of that. Just a little note on envelopes here. The default is that every new sound from an oscillator re-triggers this envelope from the start. 
And in most cases, I find that to be unhelpful. So I change this and click on this and change it to first MIDI note. So if I'm playing and I initiate a chord change halfway through, then it doesn't re-trigger the envelope, it just keeps on playing. Whereas before, a chord change might invoke the envelope from the start again, which is often inappropriate for me. You'll see me changing this parameter in many envelopes to first MIDI note for that reason. I think we're almost there with our final sound. Feel free to play around with the cutoff and the resonance filters and the amounts, um, which you see in the mod envelope here, to get a sound that you like. The only thing left to do to this preset to make it similar to the one I played in the beginning is to add a drum patch. I prefer personally a more subtle effect, so I'm going to take this parameter down a bit further in the mod matrix. Okay, that's a bit of for today. I hope you enjoyed it. Today we've learned how to use the new vintage filter types in Avenger 1.5. I will make this preset available for download from my website, link in the description. Also bear in mind that this preset will only work if you have version 1.5 and above. I hope you've enjoyed today's tutorial. If you have, hit the like button and subscribe for more Avenger-related content. See you next time. Cheers.